Hey everyone, I'm Nicole Herrick DIY and I'm going to show you how to add bat pins to a pottery wheel that doesn't already have them. So this is the wheel base that I have on my pottery wheel and I've purchased these to make my own bat pins. So this one is called a cap screw. Uh, you can see it's just got a little hexagonal um, head that you would use an Allen key in. I think they're called some other things in different places. They, they might be called an Allen screw or a hex head screw. Um, but just try and find something that looks like this at the top. These actually have a five millimeter head at the top here. So the distance along here. And that's the exact distance that I'm going to be using of my masonite so that the masonite sits sort of nice and flush over the top and there's not a big um, screw head poking out. I also grabbed some wing nuts in um, the same thread size. So M5 is my thread size. So just to show you what they look like close up, um, I just basically gauge how long I might need them. If I need to trim them off a little bit, I can do that with either a hacksaw or my angle grinder. And then this is what they look like at the top. And this is the part that you want to check that that is five millimeters or less um, or whatever the thickness of bat you're using is. So to find where I'm going to mark my wheel, what I'm going to do is reach under because there is um, sort of ribs underneath. So I want to make sure I'm not drilling into any of the ribs. So just here and here is where it feels nice and secure. Now, mine has concentric rings that go all the way into the center, so I'm going to be able to find the exact center quite easily. And I'm just gonna do it on this outer ring. Whoops, hold up there, Nicole. Okay, I forgot to mention that I'm actually just making my own bats out of masonite for this. So if you already have purchased bats, then you'll just need to make sure you actually measure how far apart the holes are on your actual bats and then translate that to where they need to be on the wheel and you'll also need to make sure that they are directly opposite each other so that's why the center is important to find and then also uh, exactly the same distance from the edge uh, yeah just so that it spins nice and beautifully and the bats fit on really easily so to start the hole, I'm going to use just a nail and a hammer to put a little divot in there or a hole punch would be even better, but for some reason I don't have a hole punch. And now I'm going to use my drill and I'm going to start with just using a narrow drill bit um, and I'm going to put it on hammer function. We're just going to go slowly and actually I'm going to put some glasses on to protect my eyes. Okay, and just be careful going down. Put a little bit of pressure on it, but remember that this can snap easily. And also just check and see if it's getting really hot, then it will blunt it really fast. So um, if it's getting too hot, leave this to cool down a little bit. Okay, we went off crooked, but that's all right. Nobody panic. All right, now I'm going to switch to a bigger drill bit. There we go. Nice and soft, this metal. It must be aluminium. Easy done. Okay, let's have a look and see if it fits. Beautiful. That was so easy. All right, and let's just make sure that that's not gonna hit anything. Perfect. 
I recommend using a rubber washer on the underside just before you put on the wing nut. This will not only help to protect the hole against getting larger by the force of the wheel spinning, but it will also help if you happen to forget to actually take out the screw and wash it after you've been using your pottery wheel because crusted on clay can actually be very difficult to uh, make the screw come off. So having the rubber means you can kind of flex it a little bit and it will all crack up a little bit easier. And here's what it should look like from the underside. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If uh, you want to see a tutorial on how I made my own center lift out pottery bats, I will pop that on my channel soon. And I also have some plain round bats that I made in that same tutorial. And I will also pop a link um, of where you can buy this pottery wheel. It's actually really affordable. Um, I've only just got it and I'm an absolute beginner, but I love it. It is so good, especially for the price. So I'll pop a link to where you can buy in Australia plus uh, in the US in the description down below. And are you ready for my mastery of pottery? Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yes. I'm an amateur. Thanks for watching. <laughs>